This is Roger with Whale Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this F-350. It is a 2004 F-350 Super Duty Crew Cab Lariat. Uh, it's a long bed, which means it's an eight foot box. Uh, it's four wheel drive. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. Um, I said Lariat, uh, which is leather. It's got the FX4 off-road suspension, which is Rancho suspension installed at the Ford factory. Although I can already see from here that somebody has done new shocks since then. So they're newer shocks than the originals. And you know why? Because we did that. We did the front shocks. So needed front shocks. Um, let's see. It was a trade-in to a new car dealer here in town. They can't get financing for generally, I shouldn't say every vehicle, but almost everything over 100,000 miles or over 10 years old. They can't get financing for their used car customers, so they don't sell them. Um, they just sell them to independents. And so that's us. And we buy all the diesels that are good. And this is a good one. Um, when we get them here, we do an inspection. It's about uh, two hours driving in the air, wheels off, blah, blah, blah. This is what they look like. Then I have my little sheet here. Uh, I got a battery, uh, sway bar links, front shocks, and a turn signal switch. That's not very much, which means that uh, it runs good. Uh, I can see cosmetically it's got some dick and dings and some nicks and some whatchamacallits all over it, but uh, overall it's not too bad. It's a truck. So if you're looking for a show truck, this isn't it. But anyone who's looking at an 04 is probably not looking for a show truck. Uh, they want something that runs good. That's a creepy looking bird. Um, anyway, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to show you what's happening here. Um, this is actually a remake for the video I made on this thing before where I had a Carfax in it that was the wrong Carfax. So I'm doing this again so we get the right Carfax in it. I had like a Chevy or something in there, like a knucklehead. Anyway, there's the new shocks on the front. New Monroe's. The tires are very high rubber. Um, we did not do that. They were on the truck. So somebody liked it enough to spend some money on it before... Uh, before they uh, traded it in, uh, which is always a sign that it's a good vehicle. People don't generally spend money on bad vehicles, so somebody did that. Previous owner did that. I'm sure that the new car dealer didn't do it, and we didn't do it, so there you go. Anyway, please look at all the pictures in our videos that uh, will show you the condition. The biggest problem is this passenger bedside, obviously. Um, just pour over the pictures so you know what you're buying so there's no surprises um, Nothing worse than the wrong vehicle going to the wrong person that almost never happens to us because we uh, are brutal with our descriptions of vehicles and uh, We don't let mechanically unsound vehicles uh, Get online anyhow, but uh, with the cosmetics if you buy a car that you don't like the looks of it means that you're blind and you need to go get a uh, uh, go to an ophthalmologist and make sure that you're okay because there is no reason whatsoever to not know what you're buying when you're buying from us as far as cosmetics is concerned uh, like I said there's a nice spare tow package the Rancho suspension is the original suspension from when they built this truck the fronts are new that we put on anyway just uh, Make sure you click on these things, the pictures, and zoom in. If you're really curious about uh, about uh, cosmetics, please use that. But if you're really curious about cosmetics, you're on the wrong truck. So just go look at another one. <laughs> because uh, this is a truck. This is not a car. All right. Let's see. We have... There's your remote. I'm going to fire this thing up. Hundred and seventy four thousand one hundred and eighty six miles And here is the correct Carfax sorry for all those people I messed up here I think I had like a what our Chevy Silverado gas truck, which is kind of the opposite of this Anyway, we did a Carfax uh, There's a Kelly blue book with hundred and seventy four thousand miles um, All the equipment that it has Right there and they give you a fair purchase price of $14,335 on the high end, $13,095 on the low end, $15,500 on the high end. 
And there's your suggested retail price of 16485 which is absurd. <laughs> I don't know how they come up with that number. Anyway, we plug in the, the, the number they gave us, 14335 which is semi-realistic. Adjust for the Carfax, and we have 13985 as an adjusted retail value, which would be fair according to that guy. Who, uh, I'm not sure if I trust that guy anyway, but... Hot <laughs> boxes. Um, with hands on hips, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's see. One new battery on this side. That side's an original battery. There's your Ford stamp right here. So that's an original fender. That's a very good sign. And there's no blow by at all in the 6 and We didn't do an oil change. That's a very good thing. There's your Ford stamp on the course support. So all that's original. There's the stamp for Ford right here on the course support there. And there's the Ford stamp there. That tells you that nothing's been replaced on the front end. If they crash them and they replace them, they don't put a uh, Ford parts back on because they're just too expensive. All right. So, we do that. This is your driver rear window, but I gotta unlock the windows, don't I? Ah, oh, wait, I'm on fire here. There. There, your driver rear window. The interior of this truck is in pretty good shape. Actually, it's in really good shape. The rear seat looks like it was not used. Which is not that unusual. Most uh, diesel crew cabs look like that in the rear seat. Unless they're work trucks. Because, usually it's an older guy towing stuff. By the time you get old, you're antisocial. You don't want anyone in the truck with you. Just saying. If that's not you, I apologize, but it's mostly... <laughs> most people it is. There's your uh, wheel lock key. You have a uh, manual there. Um, let's see. Seat back. Seat forward. Let's see. Seat down. And seat up. Rear seat cushion down and up. Front seat cushion up and down. We did do an insert right here. There must have been a tear there. I can tell that this outer part of the bolster is new. I'm gonna throw that Carfax in the uh, glove box in this truck so that you have it. Driver window, passenger window, passenger, no, passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window. Door locks. There you go. Let's see. Mirrors. Out, in, down, up, other side. Out, in, up, down. Driver seat back. Let's go forward all the way. Well, he was back. That's forward. And that's back. Tilt up. Tilt down. Rear seat tilt up and down. And I can see that we did the insert on this one too on the outside bolster. This is a new piece. And tilt wheel. That works fine. Get in here and turn on the air. It's freaking hot. It's October. We're still gonna get to 90 something today. There's your radio right there. Um, cup holder, center console, adjustable pedals. your uh, toe on and off. There you go. Alright, let me get a seatbelt on. Alrighty then. Put it in the new 
neutral. We have four low. Now we're in four low. Drive. Yeah, that would definitely be four low. Yeah, looks like I need some gas. And reverse in four low. Perfect. Now we're gonna go to four high. Now we're in four high. And reverse in four high. Perfect. That works fine. Now we're gonna go back to two wheel drive. And we'll go a little drive. All right. If you come to Sun to drive at home, which you're welcome to do, uh, you are going to pay dock fee of $250 and you're gonna pay taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So simply add 2% to your state tax rate and you'll know what you're gonna pay. Uh, and then add $250 dock fee. If your state tax rate is 7%, you'll pay 9%. If you're from Alaska, it's zero. So you'll pay 2% and $250 dock fee. Um, very simple math. Um, if you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is your agreed upon price, no dock fee, no taxes, nothing. Uh, once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We'll sign the title off, notarize it, scan it in your online file. We'll even scan in the envelope we mail the title to you in. Uh, everything will be in your online file immediately, all right? Uh, once the vehicle arrive, uh, reaches you uh, on the shipping truck, you will uh, just take the title and uh, probably the bill of sale that's on your online file and the truck itself down to motor vehicles, get plates, pay whatever you owe the state there. Deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we receive your deposit, uh, we will uh, put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it's for sale. All right, now the reality part. This is a 2004 and it has 174,000 miles on it. It's way past warranty by miles and years. If Ford could have given it a 20 year, 500,000 mile warranty, they would have. And they would have sold them for a lot more money and they would have sold them all probably in an hour. Okay, they didn't because they didn't know what would happen to it after X amount of miles or X amount of years. All right, they built the damn thing. Okay, now we're experts on 6.0s. We know bad ones and good ones, and this is a good one, but we don't see the future, and neither did the Ford people, all right? They just said, we don't know, okay? We don't know more than the people who gave birth to this thing, all right? Uh, so, if you're looking for a sure thing, this isn't it. It may show up to you, and the day you get it, it may need an injector. I doubt it, but we don't know, and to tell you it won't, it would be a lie. All right, so please realize that you're buying something used and that there's some risk involved. And if you don't like risk, go buy a brand new Lariat for uh, I don't know, 55, 50 to 60 at least. Um, and then for a couple years, you'll be worry free. And then after that, you'll owe 30 or 40 grand and you'll be out of bumper to bumper. That's all. That's how that works. Um, that was a nice running truck, very smooth. This is a 45, by the way, and I'm doing uh, 75, so I, I don't want to get a ticket, so I'm just going to chill out. But you get the point. I would have gotten on I-10 right there, but uh, the exit is all messed up, so I don't even want to get involved in that. But uh, anyway, you see what I'm talking about here before I get a ticket. Uh, anyway, so there's risk involved. If you're not, if you're, if you're risk averse, if you want a brand new truck, if you want something that you know is perfect, then you got to go buy a brand new truck. Um, this truck, uh, if you, if there's any a weakness in uh, a 6.0, if you do your research, it's the EGR. In our ad, you'll see in the middle of it that we do offer on uh, on 6.0s a $1,900 bulletproof EGR cooler uh, and a new Ford oil cooler, gaskets, fluids, all that stuff included for $1,900. It's a smoking deal. Um, we're probably going to raise the price on that pretty soon because it's that's really cheap and uh, and uh, it's kind of a little bit of hassle and not pretty much worth the, worth the work but for our buyers we like to provide that if you came in off the street you're paying 2900 with your own truck um, and even that's really cheap uh, integrity auto diesel is charging 4500 and they're supposedly the nice guys so anyway that's the bottom line if uh, if that's your concern we can help you with that Right now it doesn't need it, so I wouldn't do it. But uh, that's the answer, all right? Thank you for your time.